A nationwide swine flu shot effort might come up short with only 140 million doses ready by October. So the feds say health workers and pregnant women will be at the top of the vaccination list. But Como Force Brian Johnson says a local couple has a warning. Dr. Center. Jerry Emmons got a tetanus and a pneumonia shot in June. Now he's in a wheelchair, his legs paralyzed, his arms weak. The shots caused Guillain-Barre syndrome. Uh, I could be over this in six to eight months. I mean, I'm blocking and everything. You hope? Uh, yeah, I, I, I hope. I have to be here 24-7. It's like taking care of a baby again. And it's not fair to Jerry. The Centers for Disease Control says inoculations can trigger the progressive, paralyzing Guillain-Barre syndrome. The Emmons worry about plans for a massive swine flu vaccination program. Now, if there is a flu vaccine out late this year for swine flu, what do you take it? Nope. I'm having no more shots for flu, no more shots for nothing. In 1976, one person died of swine flu. A national vaccination program was stopped because 25 died of reactions, including Guillain-Barre. So whenever there is a mass vaccination, there will be some death. Neurologist Ashish Trivedi says only one in perhaps 100,000 will get the syndrome. If it's recognized early, it's 90% treatable. Jerry's trouble? Five doctors had no idea what was wrong. Dr. Trivedi says that's a huge problem. General medical community, emergency room, they should be aware of uh, warning signs, symptoms. Trivedi tells me he and his family will get flu shots. He says, remember, hundreds of thousands could die from flu. The new swine flu vaccine will arrive here at Group Health next week. Tests could begin the week after. Doctors will monitor closely. Brian Johnson, Como 4 News.